and welcome to 3.3, Subtracting Rational Numbers. This is going to be very similar to the one we just did on 3.2 where we were adding them, uh, except we're going to incorporate the negatives also. So before we begin, let's talk about subtracting fractions as the basics first, okay? So I have three-fifths, take away one-third here. So what I need to find is the lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple of 5 and 3 is the number that they both go into, and that would be 15. Okay, now I need to find out what goes on the bottom, if that's around the top, if both of them are 15. So if 5 is multiplied by 3 to get 15, then 3 is multiplied by the same number to get the number up here, which is 9. And then 3 times 5 got us 15, so 1 times 5 gets us this one. Okay, now that it's the same number, we can simply add them together, oh, sorry, subtract them, and there you have oh, sorry, 4 over 15. So you can see the only difference between adding and subtracting comes in the third step right here, where you have to make sure that you, you know, as you uh, subtract here. Here's a word problem. Bob searched his fridge and found he has seven-eighths of the pizza remaining. If he ate half of the pizza, I'm not talking about not seven-eighths, but one half of the, the seven-eighths, um, how much was there left in the fridge? So, assuming he cleaned up after himself. So here we go, seven over eight, but I want to take away a half of it. So have a pizza. So a lowest common multiple is 8 in this case. So if you chose 16 here, it will still work, but 8 is the lowest, so therefore that gives us uh, less uh, of the numbers being, sorry, don't have the numbers as, as large. So taking a look at that, what do you do to an 8 to make it become an 8? Well, it's simple. You just take and leave it alone. Now, to get a 2 to an 8, you have to multiply by 4. So 4 times 1 is 4. So now I've got 7 and 4, and I can take and subtract them because they have the same denominator. 7 take away 4 is 3. That gives us 3 eighths. So Bob left 3 eighths of a pizza back in the fridge. Okay, now let's take a look at the subtraction of the integer stuff. Whenever we subtract integers, there's always the, the most important part, and that's called adding the opposite. So before we can begin, you've got to add <clears throat> Excuse me. Add the opposite. Negative 3 minus negative 4. This becomes add. This becomes positive. So we end up adding a positive 4. Now, thinking of our tiles again, 4 reds, three, sorry, 4 yellows and 3 reds. There's more yellows than red, so we're going to have positive left over. Okay? Um, I'm not sure why that does that. Um, so 4 minus 3 means that this should be a positive one. So there's a typo there. That should be positive, and that should be a positive, because we have more yellows to begin with. Okay, let's take a look at positive 5 take away positive 7. Adding the opposite, the first thing you do is you have an add, and this becomes negative. So I've got negative 7 and positive 5. Negative 7, there's more reds than there are 5, so my final answer is going to be negative. Now, I know that they're going to be canceling here, so 7 and you cancel out five of them, gives you negative two left over. Again, adding the opposite, you end up with a add a negative seven. Now they're both negatives, so you have a pile of reds and a pile of reds, push them all together, and you're gonna have nothing but reds left over, negative 12. Now, positive four, take away negative nine, adding the opposite, you end up with four, which is positive, and nine, which is positive. So, yellow tiles, and yellow tiles, when you put them together, give you 13 yellow tiles. Okay, so we've done the, the fractions. We've done the integers. Now, let's combine them together. So what's the difference of 1 quarter take away negative 2 thirds? The first thing you need to do is to find the lowest common multiple. Well, lowest common multiple of 4 and 3 is called, or sorry, is, uh, is 12. I kind of jumped, my, jumped ahead there. And now we have to do add the opposite. This here, 1 quarter plus, and this is going to become a plus, so you end up with 1 quarter plus a positive 2 thirds. So now that I know that, I can take and find the denominator. To get a 1 to a 12, sorry, to get a 4 to a 12, we multiply by 3. So both things on this side have to be multiplied by 3. So 1 times 3 means you're going to have 3 twelfths there. On this side, everything's multiplied by 4 to get to a 12. So 4 times 8. Sorry, 4 times 2 gives us 8 over 12. They're both positives, so we just put them together, and you end up with 11 over 12. There's no canceling in this situation. All right, let's take a look at our next example. I've got negative 5 eighths, 
take away negative two-thirds. Our first thing I should be doing is take a look at finding the lowest common denominator, and that is eight and three, so eight times three gives us 24. That's the lowest number that they both go into. Now I have to add the opposite. So this negative or subtracted in here becomes a plus, and this negative two is gonna become a positive two. So now they got to add the opposite taken care of, and I know that the denominator is gonna be 24, I can figure out what the other ones are going to be. So I've got negative 5 here multiplied by 3, so that will give me negative 15. And then, of course, everything on this side got multiplied by 8, 3 times 8 being 24, so 2 times 8 gives me 16. Now that we have the same denominator, I can add them together. Now, there's more positives than negatives. In fact, you can see quite easily that 15 of these are going to cancel out 15 yellows, leaving you with only 1 24th left over and that's positive. Looking at the next example, remember the first thing we need to do on mixed fractions is to turn them into improper fractions. And then we have to add the opposite, so this negative becomes, or this subtraction becomes a plus, and this is positive, so it's going to change to a negative. So I'm going to have a negative plus a negative. Now the lowest common denominator of 5 and 7 is 35. So here we go. What do you multiply 5 by to get 35? It's a 7. So negative 21 times 7 gives me negative 147 over 35. 7 times 5 gives you 35, so negative 37 times 5 gives us negative 185 over 35. They both have the same denominator, so we can simply add them together. Now a negative and a negative means we have red tiles and red tiles. Put them all together, we have a whole bunch of red tiles, and because this is negative and that's negative, our final answer is going to be negative negative 9 and 17 over 25. Now you could, sorry, 17 over 35. Now you could, you, you could leave this as a negative also, uh, negative 23rd, uh, 332 over 35 if you wish, uh, or you can choose this one, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. Negative 3 quarters and, sorry, negative 3 and 4 fifths take away negative 4 and 1 half. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to an improper fraction. There we go. 5 times 3 is, is 15 plus 4 is 19. Don't forget you don't apply the negative until the very end. Now, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9, so there's my 9 over 2. And now we're going to add the opposite. This negative subtract becomes a plus, a plus, and this negative becomes a positive. So this one here is going to turn into a positive 9 over 2. So, what do I get? On the bottom, well, the lowest common multiple is a 10, 5 times 2. And I multiplied by 2 to get 10, so ni negative 19 times 2 gives me negative 38. That's the left one. The right one, to get it from a 2 to a 10, we multiplied by 5, so 9 by 5 gives me 45. Now, this is negative, this is positive. There's more yellows, which means you're going to have yellows left over after the canceling. So canceling is subtraction, so you should be taking 45, take away 38 and the final answer is going to be a yellow and that gives you 7 over 10. Same rules are enforced for subtracting rational integers in decimal form. Remember to check your answer with an estimation or with your calculator to make sure you got it right. Adding the opposite becomes negative 3.46 plus positive 7.1. Okay now we've got seven yellows, three reds, which means we have more yellows than reds, so the positive answer is going to be remaining when we're all done. We're going to have a cancellation, so we're going to be subtracting 7.1, take away 3.46, and the answer will be 7.1. So setting it up, 7.1 over 3.46, when you subtract it, you get 3.46. Now we said our final answer is going to be positive, so there's your answer, positive 3.46. Next example. Negative, subtract, 3.1. First thing, add the opposite. Subtraction becomes positive, 3.1 becomes negative 3.1. Now, this is negative, and this is negative. Red tiles and red tiles. Push them together, you're going to have red tiles. So whatever happens after you add them, they're all going to be red. So, 4.67 added to 3.10 gives us a total of 7.77. Don't forget that it's a negative. Okay, I don't have a negative. I should have a negative, right? Let me see if I can find a pen here. There we go. That should be a negative. 
So I kind of messed up on that one. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Negative 245.72, subtract negative 3.45.22. Adding the opposite, you end up with negative 245.72. This negative subtraction becomes a positive, and this becomes positive also. So now we have negative and a positive. Now there's more positives than negatives, so we know we're going to have positives left over. Now these positives are going to cancel out with these negatives by subtraction. So you have to have 345.22 take away 245.72. So there's your subtraction. When you subtract it, you're going to have 99.5. And of course, because there's more positives to begin with, we're going to have a positive answer. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, complete your assignment, and we'll see you in the next lesson.